Arizona State University heterosexual privilege checklist. We have to have a checklist, by the way, so you'll know that you're privileged. Um, if you're a heterosexual, you are a privileged person. Um, according to uh, Sam Killiman's privilege list that he created for uh, people of privilege to empathize with other non-privileged individuals. Social justice advocate Killerman writes such as, he's like 30 plus things, right? Uh, immediate access to your loved one in case of an accident or emergency, public rec recognition and support for an intimate relationship. So in other words, if somebody congratulates you for getting engaged or something like that, uh, expressing affection in most social situations and not expecting hostile or violent reactions from others. Uh, you know, per personally, if you're doing a whole lot of public display of affection, I'm probably going to look at you with a kind of a hostile look. I don't care if you're gay or straight or anything else. Just save it for somewhere else. I'm trying to eat dinner. Um, expressing pain when a relationship ends from death or separation and receiving support from others, receiving social acceptance by neighbors, colleagues, good friends, on and on and on this list goes. Uh, you can uh, you can find it on the Arizona State University. This is why you don't send your kids to college anymore. Um, uh, not having people think your sexuality is a mental health issue, being able to have your partner from a different country or able to obtain citizen citizenship in your country through marriage. Basically, it's one big thing of saying they're being um, ostracized and, and, you know, ugh, there's prejudice against them when it comes to legalities of marriage and things like that. So good. I mean, you know, I, I, here, here's, the th here's the problem that I have with all of that, Chris and Mark. Now, the, the people that are gay are going to say they were born that way, right? Well, then by logical conclusion, people who are heterosexual are born that way too. Um, there is statistically more heterosexuals than there are homosexuals. So you are now shaming the larger majority, the dominant paradigm, if you will. You're shaming and subverting the dominant paradigm. And again, blaming people to, for having privilege just for the sheer fact that they are in the majority and they are the typical accepted norm and you want them to feel shame for the way they were born. So in essence, that's exact same logic that you say people are using against you. You say that you're being, um, there's prejudicial action coming against you for the way that you are born. Um, so which is it? What's it going to be? Um, you're using the same type of problematic circular reasoning. reasoning. But anyway, listen, I truly believe, guys, we're getting to a point <laughs> look at the smile on my face i say this tongue in cheek and then at this point also nothing really surprises me anymore uh how do you know chris that they're not going to pump out one of those vaccines and give you a shot one day and you're going to wake up the next day gay you could you could you don't know and, and you know we say that but i bet you there's some nefarious people out there that it, that that's the way they think they're just going to make the whole world woke and everything inclusive is you'll just get a shot one day and you'll be the perfect human, right? You'll, you'll, they'll be, be able to determine who you, your desires are for a romantic or sexual partner, uh, so on and so forth. Who knows, man? Brave new world we're living in. Brave new world. And, of course, uh, if Disney has their say, can you give us a shot? Can you see the, the studio? Can you see the plat there? We stole this. If you look across, you see that big picture there. That is actually the original uh, planning plat of Walt Disney's for Disneyland in Anaheim, California. And so we stole that from Glenn Beck for this episode to throw it out there, and uh, which we could zoom in on. It's a pretty cool thing. Glenn entrusted it to Chris, and I said, keep that as far away from me as possible because I don't want to break it.